Okay, by popular demand, here is a little intro to the TP8500 manual remote control functionality. All right, start off with the power button, obviously. Hit that baby. And you'll see right away there's a little graph to the right by the shoulder here. That's gonna set the limit it's going to scan you and try and find where your shoulder level is, which will set the upper limit for the rollers as they go up and down your back. So right now it's um, defaulted to the mid position. You can adjust that um, using this shoulder adjustment. So now it's going to raise the upper limit. So as it, as it tracks up your back, it'll stop higher. And you can also lower it for shorter people. I like it about two notches above the middle. And that beeping is telling you, um, it's like a timer. When the beeping stops, the automatic function will kick in. So say, telling you to adjust your shoulder limit, and now it's gonna go into the default. And the default is the 20 minute F2. So this is F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. So it's going into the automatic F2 mode. So if we hit zero gravity, so it already raised it up a little bit when I first turned it on. So this is zero gravity, second position. I hit it again, and we'll go back to full zero gravity. And if I hit it once again, I believe it'll go back down to the first and cycle through. So a lot of these buttons are multi-function. You can hit them multiple times, or some of them you can press and hold. We'll get into that a little bit later. So once you're in this position, for taller people, this um, leg position might feel like it's putting a lot of spring tension on your feet. So what I do is I lower the leg position with these buttons here. And that kind of decreases the, the load or the spring tension on my feet. For Cheryl, I raise it all the way up so that she can put pressure the bottom of her feet onto the bottom rollers. So you can also adjust from that zero gravity position the back of these buttons. And then we'll give you an audible, saying maximum limit. Not all these buttons will indicate a uh, function change audibly. Uh, for instance, uh, this middle position, it's a dual function relaxed demo mode. So the middle, button is F3, but if I press and hold this for, I don't know, three or four seconds, you can't really tell because I'm, I'm pressing right now, there's no indication that it's changed, but I let go, and it goes to F0, which is now the a five minute demo mode, it cycles through all the different functions of the, of the chair. So it says two seconds in the book, but I give it three or four seconds just to make sure that it's going to switch over. So I'll go back to one, that's function one, two, three, four. Now if I hit this one, that's gonna be an upper back function. We'll focus on my upper back, automatic modes. And then F5 is a uh, lower back. So you can, like I said, you can adjust the foot position here, head position from gravity. So right now the head is all the way back and my foot position is down a little bit lower. And this one is for foot speed. If you can notice here, it looks like a settings wheel, but it's really a roller. So I cycle through that and that increases the, the red as level three or off. Uh, so this one here, this one will cycle through which air bags come on. So that's just the feet, that's just the arm. Get them cycling this left air, it says air pressure. I don't think that's a very good label. And that's all off. So 
I cycle that now to show arm and feet. So that's the, uh, the shoulder, the arms, or the upper one, which cannot be separated. The arms and shoulder are all part of the arm air pressure function. Feet is calf and ankle airbags. So that's off. Let's cycle it again, all, all bags on. And this is air intensity, where it says, which is actually a good label. And that will change from one, three, two, etc. I'm gonna shut those off now for this demo, so I'm not loading up the bags excessively. Okay, so that's the arrows. This is here is the heat function, which will indicate by a very faint red uh, display unit, LED. Um, now these, you'll see sometimes speed and width pop up on some of these auto functions. You can't really adjust those in auto. It's just indicating uh, what mode it is in for that particular setting. So for whatever comfort setting, relax setting, as it cycles through the different modes, um, it might change width, speed. I'm gonna shut off this foot. There we go. Shut off the foot roller. Um, I am curious, it says it'll body scan you on initial power up. I think that it's just scanning to find the, your shoulder um, by using the roller as a, a position switch to see where the edge of your shoulders are. I don't know that it's scanning the width of your back or trying to find your spine. I would like to find that information, but I haven't been able to. They make it sound like it does, but I just, I don't feel like it is somehow. Okay, so now we're in uh, F5. That's the lower back mode automatically. So that's for, for 20 minutes. I have not found a way to adjust that timer. Okay, so now that's all pretty much the upper functions, the upper automatic functions. Anytime you hit any one of these manual buttons, it'll take it down into H0. And that's a spot. If you look on the, this little graphic, there's a, a dot. So it's a, it's a spot um, massage for whatever position you have it. And that is adjustable with these up and down arrows here. So you see I'm lowering it. Raise the arrow up. So for any one of these here, you have a uh, need tap, knee and tap, the middle one, which I think that's the one that I like where it kind of does a circular motion and taps at the same time. Um, some of these are adjustable for speed and or width. Let's see here. Here we go. Here's one that's uh, adjustable for speed and width. So the need, since it's kind of you know, using a circular mode, um, in a sense, increasing and decreasing the width on its own, that width is not adjustable. The speed is adjustable using the speed button, but the width is not. On ones that just focus on one area um, laterally or, um, or to the left and right of the spine, those uh, are adjustable width. So then I can adjust the width of the rollers, narrow on my spine or wide across my spine, and speed. So those will indicate if they can be adjusted or not. Um, and again, cycling through the respective buttons will increase or decrease the speed or width. So, um, this back stretch button is really kind of um, another mislabel. It's more like a uh, cycling through the types of manual uh, mode positions. So these are the roller effects. This will cycle through 
I think there's somebody at my door. H0 through H4, I believe. So H0 is a spot locate, what we talked about before, and you can go up and down with that. And it's very nice. You can adjust it very, very accurately. And then adjust the type of effect that you want for that particular spot. Um, hit stretch again, and you'll go to H1. And you'll see on this graphic, it's no longer a dot, it's up and down. Now this um, will go, I don't know, maybe a foot range on your back, up and down. So um, the rollers will go up and down for that 12 inches or so. But within that range, you can adjust that whole 12 inches up or down, so to speak. So now I have that range higher. So now it'll go to my shoulders, to my middle back. And it's going just back and forth, up and down. Another cool thing that um, I discovered by accident is you can uh, say right now it's on uh, tap mode or whatever. So if you hit one of these buttons to switch to a, to a mode, if you hit that same button that you just chose, say I want need, okay? I hit it again and it shuts it off. And so, so now it just rolls up and down your back without using any sort of uh, effect. And you can adjust the width of that also. And this is very relaxing if you have tender spots. You don't want to have that roller pounding on your back. You just like to have it stretch your back. And so you can adjust the width of that. So right now it's just ranging up and down from my neck to my middle back using the rollers only. And no tap or kneading effect on the roller. And you can tell by a lack of display um, option. I hit the knead button again and it starts kneading. The same range, but now it's using the kneading. Um, and I really like having it, uh, the effect off sometimes like the, uh, like a final run. It just kind of soothes everything and um, very relaxing. Um, it looks like that's about it. Now, um, what we can do, there's a memory function. If you shut this off, all of a sudden you'll see the memory flashing. The book says, watch for the memory glittering, which I interpreted it as flashing. While it's flashing, you can hit F1 or M1 or M2, and it'll store your most recent adjustments in, while in manual mode into that memory one position. You just have to briefly touch that M1 or M2. Um, and then it'll store foot position, uh, back position, heat mode, speed. It'll pretty much save everything that you adjusted for during your last manual mode. To activate that mode, you power it on. And then you can press and hold again for about four seconds. And then it'll, it'll go into the previous mode, which I had as a spot location for one, uh, right around my neck and shoulder area for it. For mode two, and see it's, it's automatically going into this position I had my feet in. Uh, so let's push, press and hold M2, this bottom, this, which is also F5. So now it's going to my second memory position, which is uh, they call it a partial mode. There's spot mode, partial mode. Um, I didn't really discuss the other other modes in manual. So that's how we activate the manual modes or the um, memory settings. Um, the other manual modes, so there's two, that's the partial. Three is like a full range um, in manual mode. So it's going to cycle up, up and down your back. Uh, full range and then you can make the same sort of adjustments for the effect etc um, hit stretch again you're gonna go to h4 that's gonna focus on an upper it's kind of like partial but not adjustable you remember the previous partial mode was adjustable with the up and down arrows this one is not it's a pretty and it's a larger range you hit the stretch again 
and we're going back. Oh, I must have missed one. H1 is spot, indicated by the graphic. Or H0, rather. H1 is partial, and that one is adjustable with the up and down arrows. Why, why am I... Uh... Sorry, I'm... there's H3. H3 is the full range. Hurrah. I'm getting mixed up because I got uh, zero through zero through four instead of and four is four is focusing in lower. So you have zero spot. Sorry about that. One is partial, which is adjustable and indicated by these up and down arrows. H2, and you see the red or limits. That one is not adjustable, also indicated by red. The barrels don't do anything. Um, and then three is your upper body. Again, not adjustable. H4 is lower body. So that's about it. Um, so when you're finished, you, you cycle through the whole um, 20 minutes or whatever, and it shuts off. And all of a sudden you're sitting here laying in your gravity position and you want to get out of the chair but the power's off and everything just shut down it's nice to relax like that but sad, you know I need to get out so essentially at that point the power's off and it's shut down so if you turn it if you hit the button on at that mode um, it will just go back into automatic mode because um, it just thinks okay he wants him back he wants it back on again so you hit the power button and it just goes back into the default f2 mode but you don't want that, you want to get out. So you can adjust the arrows up, up and down to get out if you wanted to. But what you do is you hit the power button twice. So you're telling it power up, but power back off again. And then that's the same thing as powering off like right now. I'll shut it off and she shuts down. So when you're in that position after the final 20 minute shutdown, you hit the button twice, it'll beep twice, and then it'll go back to the rested position. So I think that's about it. I'm just uh, going over this in my mind. Any questions, let me know.